Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I finally set my studio at home. So I'll give you a tour. So this is a fully furnished just studio just for my makeup and my training. And I have baby Willow with me as well in here. So I'm so happy it's done. Speaking of so happy, um, I have the new blush from Hourglass to review with you guys today. And speak of, speaking of a new product, C Beauty has a new shade in the Star Glow. So this is shade Star Glow, the Glowy Super Gel Primer. So if you like to have a super full of reflection primer, this is for you. This is non-sticky. It just gives that really nice glow to your skin. So let's use it as our primer today. Um, I'm going to go with just one pump. Use my fingers. Take the hair off. Oh, it smells of flowers and it's really pleasant. Um, so if you like to have your base glowing, but not sticky or too dewy, this is a really, really nice primer because see how it just gives a gorgeous glow to your skin, but without, it's not sticky at all. Like once it's dry, it's dry. Um, and you can use a foundation that is a little bit more matte and it's going to give you that really nice luminosity that really nice radiance uh, underneath your foundation yeah i really really like this product you know what i think it's a bit like the hollywood flawless filter filter from charlotte tilbury or the star glow filter from dior it's just it's just so nice on the skin it gives you that really nice glowing skin without being sticky or compromising on your foundation. It's lightweight, um, it's not bad for your skin, it doesn't block the pores. Yeah, that, that's a really great product and I really like this shade because it's kind of that universal shade that goes with any skin tone. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that they came out with the other shade. I don't think I will purchase the other shades and because there's so much that I have to use in uh, in this um, and also if you have any texture or larger pores it doesn't really em put emphasis on them uh, because it's a very fine product and it's not glitters or sparkles it just gives that glowing skin uh, which is quite for today's foundation I'm going to use something that I haven't used in ages and because I put my studio all together. Obviously, I went through all of my makeup and I just realized one, I have so much product. Like I have so many products. So I need to use, I need to use them more because uh, I tend to always use the same product and I'm sure we're all the same. We have product that we really like. So we just use those. Um, but this is such a good product. Um, this is our glass. It came out last summer. Woohoo, baby girl! Um, it came out last summer. It's the Vanish Conce uh, Vanish Foundation Stick, and I am using shade Natural. I love how the packaging the packaging is amazing, easy to carry, and you have your foundation. Uh, it's very light. It just it's like butter. It just melts onto your skin but it's not greasy or too dewy. So it's gonna go all over. And it just blends like a dream. Look at this. And it really has a super good coverage, which is quite surprising for a foundation stick. Um, but yeah, it just covers pretty much everything. <laughs> and they have, the range of shade is amazing. So I feel like for summer, it's an amazing product. And it's very buildable. 
So if you want to have more coverage, well, you just add some more. So the foundation is set and you can see it's still super glowy. It's got nice coverage, uh, but it's not completely full coverage. It's radiant, but it's not dewy, like greasy, dewy melting. It's just a nice, it's looking like your skin, but better type of makeup. Um, so because we're in that kind of your skin, but better makeup, I'm going to use the Say Beauty concealer as well. And this is Slip Tint Concealer Corrector, shade number three. It's a serum-like concealer and I love this one. I just hope it's not too light. So let's see. I think it's very light for my skin tone right now. So let's just blend it. It blends so nicely. Yeah, that should be fine. It's just going to bring a lot of brightness under my eyes and I can always come back with the foundation brush oh that's really nice it just brings a lot of luminosity oops under my eyes concealer is done I'm really liking how it's just a very thin layer but it just unifies it hides it's not completely full coverage but it's got a good medium coverage and um, i'm going to continue with say beauty so this is the latest bronzer it's called do bronze um, and it's shade swim i'm loving this product um also because a little goes a long way but i'm just loving the payoff of the color it's a bit like rare beauty product um it's just a great product and the shades are amazing so on the forehead to start and just gonna it's just so easy to blend and as you can see it is quite dark like it really warms up the skin in a second and once you blend it all nicely, I just give that really nice bronziness to your skin. And it's not patchy, it blends it really nicely with the foundation and the primer underneath. Look at this, I look like I've been in the sun. Gorgeous. So now I've got the two blushes to test. Uh, I picked up two shades. I have Moment and Vision. So it says that you have to really shake them really well before you apply and use them because they are liquid blushes. Um, and I believe they are a water base. So it's quite like it's a proper liquid blush. They are not cream, they are very liquid. There's a lot of hydration in it. It's uh, They have hyaluronic acid as well. Um, and it's kind of that blurring effect. It's just such a great product. Um, I tried yesterday the one, uh, the shade I have moment. This one still had the little sticky on it. Um, so let's just swatch them on my hand first. So it's this shade moment. So you, it's a plastic bottle, it's quite small, and you have, you have to press under for the product to come out. But honestly, yeah. So let's go with one drop. It's, it's properly liquid. Uh, this is shade moment. And it's a warm orange. And once you blend it onto your skin, it just melts. And that's one drop, so you really don't need much product. Uh, but once you 
blend it all nicely onto your skin. It just gives that glow from within. It's really, really nice. It's a warm brown-ish, like it looks, it's completely orange in, in here, but it's a warm, it's a coral. I love this. It's gorgeous for summertime. Now let's try the other shades. So the first one was Moment. This is Vision. And again, like make sure you really, really shake it well. Uh, you can apply these with your fingers or a brush, it's a synthetic brush. Um, so I haven't tried this one. So I've cleaned my hand. So oh, see, I didn't shake it enough. So that's very liquid. Um, oh, that's gorgeous. It's a proper pink. Um, it's got that neutral undertone. Oh, I love this. I love this. And that's, well, that's a huge drop. Um, and what I like, it's really blurring, but once it dries, it just has that bit of radiance to it, but it's completely dry and it doesn't stay sticky or anything. But like one drop is enough for your full face by the look of it. Um, I think, let's try this one for today. So this one shade vision right let's give it a proper shake before we go ahead that should be fine and i'm going to apply it with my fingers um just to see how it applies how it goes so i'm going to just place my mirror here and go for one drop not more to start with yeah, and you know what? One drop is absolutely enough. But the color is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's giving that healthy glow. Just that glow from within. Like honestly, this summer is, it's the summer of blushes. Um, whether you like cream, blushes, liquid blushes, um, powder, whatever that tickles you can see. Um, they are blush for everyone, any skin type, any skin color, any skin tone. You're gonna find something that really works for you for sure. Um, oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this shade. It's gorgeous, it's giving. I like that it's very radiant, so it doesn't make your cheek look flat. And it's just beautiful. The glow is gorgeous. Right, let's do the other cheek. So again, just so gonna go with one drop. It's very pigmented. The other shade, uh, this one that is more of a coral moment, is not as pigmented. It's not as pigmented as this one. I'm just gonna add some onto the other side. Um, but equally, I feel like once it dries, it's not, once it dries, it kind of dim down a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of pigment in here, ladies. But it's very easy to apply, you see, just with my fingers. And if you have too much, you come back with your foundation brush here. And you're just gonna remove the excess. Yeah. Easy peasy. It's glowing, but it's not, it's glowing, it's very radiant. I like this, but it's, it's dry, like it's not sticky, which is a really important thing. Um, I love a makeup that is skin-like, but I don't like when it's sticky and you feel like your foundation is just melting. 
this is really nice and also it's because we've used this as a primer so the makeup has the blush has dried um i'm loving the blush it is blurring it's very radiant it's not flat it doesn't make your cheeks look flat because it's a radiant product um it's completely dry so it's not sticky and it hasn't disturbed the foundation under which is key as well um, i'm loving the product it's giving that really nice and healthy glow from within it's amazing like obviously it's another liquid blush there's a lot available out there but i think you need to look at packaging formula payoff on in terms of the color and the shade um there are a lot of shades so i only picked up two but i might pick up more shades depending on i can't remember i believe there are six of them six or eight i'm not sure um so this is moment and vision i like so the one i'm wearing today is vision i like how it's a neutral it's just a nice pink that goes for everyone and if you have a darker shade uh skin tone it's going to work no matter what because there's so much pigment it's gonna look absolutely amazing on you so i didn't add anything else other than i filled up my eyebrows <laughs> and i am using the anastasia beverly hills powder so this is the bro powder duo honestly if you don't have this in your makeup kit you're missing out um it's two shades in that little thing um i think i could have gone for the dark ashy blonde uh, but once I mix the two of them, I think it's it's fine. Uh, my hair have gone a bit darker. Uh, obviously, I have highlights. I don't know what to do with my hair, guys. I don't know if I go for more blonde highlights, but now I feel like fall is coming anyway. So should I just do some nice caramel-like honey blonde highlights? Do you have any suggestion, ideas? Um, please tell me. Put it down below in the in the description and the one that gets the most like or votes i'm gonna do it i'm not going to cut my hair because i'm too proud but i want to change the color so let me know guys what you think um right moving on um i'm going to use my palette from her glass this is the palette ambient and it's lighting edit unlock leopard um, I got this around Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. That was a limited edition, but they come out every year anyway. And most of the shades in the palette, you can have them individually anyway. Um, so I will be using a big fluffy, fluffy brush. Um, this is Ultimate Powder Brush from Real Technique. And I will use this one, this light shade here, to come all over my face. And it just blurs the pore really nicely. And it keeps... I don't know how to explain. It blurs, but yet it keeps it really glowy and, and nice. And I'm going to use that palette to do my eyes as well. So we're going to use a minimum of product for today. Right, I found this palette. Um, it's just, it's the same shade, but it's just better to use all of them. So this is the Ambient Radiant Light. Uh, I think it's number one. And I just come with that same brush and I use all the three shade to do all of my face and it's such a nice and radiant palette it blurs the pore but it gives the nicest luminosity like it's crazy it's just a really nice palette so now going back to this leopard palette i need a smaller brush so I'm going to mix in the blush, this pink one, with 
this one that has a muted pink mauve in it to come over the liquid blush. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's pretty much the same shade. It's just adding that really nice radiance. With the same palette, I have a small contouring brush. I'll go in the bronzer and just add some on the forehead where I had my Say Beauty bronzer. And we're gonna come just down here on the cheeks, just like so adding a bit of contrast it's warming up the skin nicely for my eyes i will use this shade so i have a small eyeshadow brush it's going to be very monochromatic look easy to recreate i'm really liking those palette where it's kind of one and done you can use them for so many things it's great because this palette i believe was 90 pounds and you really gotta make use of it you know i think for the price you really need to use your imagination a little bit and find ways of using it so you can actually you know if it has to be worth your money the product is amazing the product is really good that's not i'm not complaining at all um but you just gotta use it to justify the price i guess that's what i'm saying um with a crease brush i will use the bronzer shade come into the crease just like so and i'm going to go under my eye as well voila all right so this is with the mascara i didn't add any eyeliner or anything else i keep it quite minimal and low-key for today uh, one thing that I do want to add, um, some highlighter, just a little bit of highlighter, because why not? Um, because we're crazy like this. So this shade here with my fan brush and just on the top of the cheeks. It's got the nicest glow ever I mean not your average eye highlighter gorgeous 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 put some on the nose So the final touch before we are done, some lip gloss. This is from Dior. That's one of the, that's in the new collection for summer. This is the bronze one. Um, it's a Dior Addict um, lip maximizer. I don't have my glasses, but you know, that's not new. The shade is new though. Um, so. I love how there's a bit of a, a minty feel to it and it really just plumps your lips. Obviously it's a lip gloss so it's not going to stay for long. The shade of the lip gloss is really nice. Um, I think it looks really good with the makeup. And also if you have a darker lip, it's going to look really nice on you. I think it's about time there lip gloss that are 
a bronzy and if you have a darker lip it's still going to give you some shade some colors um i think that's really important so just just my two cents really um so that's the look for today uh, i let i've let my hair hair air dry and i've realized that i've got curly hair <laughs> like properly curly hair um I guess I never realized because I always dry my hair with the brush and just don't really pay attention. I don't remember my hair being this curly. I mean, that's like, it feels like I've slept with a braid, but it's just my normal hair. But they're not that curly. They're not that curly here at the front. Things are happening once you've had a baby. Like, yeah, I'm not going to complain because I'm healthy. I'm... You know, I've got a super good baby, I'm back at the gym, I have, things are going well, but also things are changing. So my skin was really dry, now my skin is not dry anymore, it's just back to normal. I've got a lot of funky, wonky little hair growing, I've got curly hair at the back, um, but I love our baby girl, so it's all good. It's all good. So this is the final look for today. Let me know down below what you think in the comments. Um, it's kind of an easy makeup to do, um, but I love the blushes. These two new blushes, I believe that I will go and pick up more shades because super easy to apply. You just apply it with your fingers. The, shade, the shades are gorgeous. Uh, I have a fluff in here. The shades are gorgeous. They are really highly, highly pigmented, but they do give that blurring effect without flattening your face or your cheek, which is quite important. Um, and then this product, I'm not going to get the other shades, but honestly, I wanted to show it to you guys. It's just such an amazing product. If you have, if you like having a glow, this is amazing. And I would dare to say, I would use this over the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter because her product stays a bit sticky, whereas this dries completely and you can use it on top of your makeup as well. You can use it as a finishing touch other than a primer. Um, so it's kind of a multi-use product. You can use it on your body as well. If you just, if you wear a nice dress during summer and you want to add I don't know, a little bit of your, on your shoulder. It just gives your skin that really nice glow without being sticky and it's not going to melt. So absolutely amazing product. Um, and yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you like the decor, a white background. So we're really just focusing on the product. Um, I think the lightning, the lighting is, is fine. You guys tell me. Um, but I think we see the makeup really nicely. And the sound, I think I need to add a rug in the room because there's a lot of echo. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think and let's keep the conversation going. I will list down below all the product that I have used today with my discount codes. And thank you for watching. See you next time.